Member for North Vancouver Seymour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, uh, the former person speaking, because that was well said about Florence Nightingale. I'd like to speak also about Nursing Day. Take my mask off. I would like to also speak about uh, International Nursing Day in the context of nursing leaders. I'd like to talk about my friend Joanne, who works at Lionsgate Hospital. And when COVID started, she and her unit became the COVID unit immediately. They stepped up. They said, yes, we can do this. We will be the unit that takes it on first to try and find out what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to do it. Immediately, transitions occurred. There was new training. There was new renovations. There was new equipment. And I don't know if you know how to work as a nurse. However, when they're doing renovations, it's extraordinarily difficult. People had to learn about ventilators. We had to have change rooms. We had to have phones outside so we could talk to the staff inside. There were instructions. There was how do we support our staff and clinicians. Every day, people were taught how to don and doff personal protective equipment because it had to be done properly. They, they, what they were doing also was they were supporting clients through the unknown journey of COVID with its abrupt crashes and gradual progressions to stability and its deaths. They supported families through limited visits, their fears, their anger, their despair, the unacceptable loss that they faced. If something needed to be done, she got it done, even if it wasn't in her job description. If they were short-staffed, she was at the bedside ensuring patient care. She saw efficiencies that were to be had, they got done. As, she was, as an advocate who was needed, she was there or she found somebody to do what needed to be done. There was a professional woodwind player uh, who, a, a professional win, uh, woodwind player musician who ended up coming in from ICU. He thought his life was completely changed. He would never be able to play his instrument again. Joanne got him a recorder so that he could start when his lungs were strong enough to start making music again. And as time went by, we went from very simple tunes to very complex tunes. Then she realized that COVID sufferers, oh, I'm out of time. Joanne calls herself the COVID queen with a laugh. I call her a professional, compassionate, compassionate, knowledgeable, and effective nursing leader who inspires all those she interacts with to do the very best they can, as always. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.